Hello there! How important is eye contact in VR chat? Would you like to be able to wink at someone? Follow an object with your eyes? Or maybe you want to stick your tongue out, just like that? That is exactly what this video is about. We're gonna talk about most important aspects of eye tracking and face tracking, including avatar, software and hardware details. First let's talk about software. No matter what kind of hardware you will be using, you will need to communicate the tracker with VRChat. And the best way to do this is to use a free open source community project called VRC Face Tracking. You can find the link in the description of this video. You don't need any technical knowledge to use this app. Trust me, it is extremely easy to use, and I mentioned it first before talking about devices and avatars because of their very detailed documentation, which also includes information about the installation process of all supported face and eye trackers. And this part of the process might be different for every device, so make sure to check their documentation before installing your tracker. Now we can talk about eye tracking hardware. Here is a list of all supported headsets with built-in eye tracking modules. There are also several headsets with eye tracking add-ons that can be purchased separately. As you can already see, the list of headsets is quite long, but in case a new headset or eye tracking device will be released, I will include the list in the description of this video and I will do my best to keep it updated, so make sure to check if there's anything new. Eye tracking in all these headsets is different, but we are talking about very small differences such as type of light use for tracking, accuracy, tracking each eye individually and for example eye pupil tracking. But don't worry, all of them should track movement of your eyes, eyelids and eyebrows pretty well. And for VR chat, that's all we need. These minor differences won't matter much to you as an end user. Even even if the HTC Vive Pro Eye has better eye tracking than Quest Pro and Pico 4 Pro, I would prefer to use these headsets due to their higher resolution and better optics, which makes the overall gaming experience much better. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy eye tracking in all of them, no matter which one you're gonna use. Before we talk about face tracking, there is still one more way to get eye tracking on basically any headset. EyeTrack VR is an open source community project that allows you to add eye tracking to any headset you want. All you need are two cameras, a few IR emitters and some manual skills, of course time and a bit of patience. Eye tracking isn't a rocket science, so you can build it yourself. Just try not to turn your headset into a little Frankenstein while doing it. It is time to talk about face tracking. This time, as of today, there are only a few headsets with built-in face tracking modules. Again, there are also some headsets with facial tracking add-ons that can be purchased separately. But this time we also have one tracker that can work almost with all headsets and it is HTC Vive Facial Tracker. The problem is that HTC has officially discontinued this product, so for now we can only buy it second hand or wait for the next generation. Again, same as with eye tracking, I will include a list of all face tracking models in the description of this video, so make sure to check if something new popped out. In general, face tracking performance depends on the shape of your face. For some people it just works better, but there is no doubt that HTC trackers are the best, so the built-in modules for their headsets and their universal tracker too. But is HTC really that much better than Quest Pro and Pico 4 Pro? Yes, mainly because it's faster and more precise, it allows you to track more blend shapes of your face, each cheek separately, and you can also move your tongue in multiple positions, which overall makes your facial expressions look more natural. I'm not saying that Quest Pro and Pico 4 Pro have terrible face tracking, that's simply not true, both headsets work very similar, they track your mouth, both cheeks at the same time, and only allow you to stick your tongue out, they are less precise than HTC trackers, but still precise enough to enjoy using them. And this is where the community comes in again. Project Bubble is another open source project that allows us this time to use face tracking for VR chat using any camera, such as the one in your phone. Just stick it to your headset, pair it with Project Bubble software and you're good to go. Yes, I know, it sounds exciting. You can simply buy a cheap Android phone, stick it to your headset and stream it to your computer over Wi-Fi to get facial tracking. I tested it myself and it took me just a few minutes to set up, but the tracking performance was far from perfect. Kinda looked like Harry Potter's face after drinking Polyjuice Potion. The developers are still working on improving their models, and I believe that if they put enough effort, this project could become a VR chat go-to for face tracking, because in my opinion it has even more potential than HTC trackers, but there is still a long way to go. And here we are, the last point of our tutorial, avatars. Once you have everything set up, you need to get an avatar with face tracking. You can use one of public avatars, just go to avatar search and find avatars with face tracking in their name, that way you can test it on multiple avatars. But I think you would want to add eye and face tracking to your existing avatar that 
you use every day. And there are two ways to do that. Let's start with the easiest one. You need to get an avatar face tracking add-on from Booth or Gumroad. They usually cost between 10 maybe 20 US dollars. Remember that you need to get a specific add-on for your base model and apply it to your avatar using Unity. The other way is a bit more difficult and definitely more time consuming. You will need to create all eye and face tracking blend shapes in Blender, add parameters to your avatar and create facial animation controllers. Adding eye tracking itself it's not that difficult, but for the whole face you need more blend shapes and it will definitely take some time. You can find a list of all parameters and additional information in the VRC face tracking documentation which will help you understand the process of adding it to your avatar. That's it for now, if you have any questions about face tracking, eye tracking or anything related to VR world in general, feel free to join our discord server, you can find a link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, see you soon in the future videos. Bye!